What about this idea of faulty design, faulty construction, right? We think back to the 2018 inspection report that much has been reported on, talking about this faulty design of the pool area um, and how it should have been uh, constructed on a slope, not a flat surface. And we also know of a report of a woman calling her husband around 1.30 in the morning right before the building collapsed, saying there was a sinkhole uh, in the pool. We don't know why this building came down, uh, but a lot of things are pointing to the pool area. How does something like that happen? How does a faulty design, faulty construction get through? So I think you're 100% correct. We, at this point, do not know what caused this specific building to come down. The engineers, the forensic engineers, hopefully will let us know in the next few weeks and months. Uh, the bottom line is that what was discussed previously about the concrete being flat, generally speaking, when we pour concrete, we pour concrete on a slope to let the water drain off. Uh, that's not only for buildings, it's even for balconies that you walk on. On a daily basis, we want the water to shed off. Obviously, for whatever reason, in this report in 2018, it notes that that was not the case, which allows for the water. And specifically here in the tropics, our water has a high quantity of salt because we are on the ocean. And then the salt settles down into the concrete, which then settles down into the steel itself. And that is a very important point because as the steel corrodes, it corrodes a little bit in the beginning, but then exponentially greater and faster with time. So time is the most valuable commodity that we have. And as you saw in our report and other discussions, folks were discussing the weakening or the greater destruction that was ongoing. 